Let's play Corners, game A9 in the math card game book. The objective of this game is to practice the facts totaling 5, 10, 15, and 20, and to practice addition sums that are multiples of 5. Cards needed are the specially designed corner cards. Note that the numbers are printed in four colors, green, blue, black, and red. This is important because you must match the color as you play. You will also need a piece of paper and pencil for each player. The object of the game is to gain the most points and to have the highest score. Are you ready to play? Yeah. All right, first we're gonna e give each player four cards. And we lay the cards out so that the green is on top. That way we can see each other's and help each other as we play. Okay, then we wanna look for the person who has the lowest number on top. Who has I the do. lowest? All right, great. So you put your card out and no points because it's, it, you haven't added anything, but you get to replace your card and you're ready to start. Then we move clockwise in direction. We always wanna teach the children clockwise. So that means Caleb, you would go next. Now Caleb, the object of the game is to get five, 10, 15, or 20. So where do you think you're going to look first? All right, why? Because it's the highest number. Oh, you're a smart boy, I can see that. So you wanna look for the highest number, and what would you need to do to match that? With another high number. Which one do you might, might you have? 10 and 10. <gasps> what would that give you? 20. All right, go ahead and do that, and write your 20 down on your paper. Again, we're matching red to red, and we continue. So get a card from the stock, write down your score, and it's your turn, okay? Now, I need to mention to you, you have to play off the last card that was played unless there's a corner, and we don't have any corners yet. So which one is the highest number here that you can play from? Seven. Okay, seven's the highest number, so you might look at your cards to see if you have something that would make that either a 10, 15. Do you have that? All right, so then you might go to another one. Do you see something you can do? Uh, nine to one. Very good, what would that give you? 10 points, excellent. So put your score on your paper and get the card from on top and it's my turn, okay? I have to play off that last card that was played or if I had something that could play the corner, I would. For instance, six and four would make 10, but eight does not make something with my one. So I'm gonna use that over here and make eight plus seven is 15. And I'm gonna write down my score of 15 and it's your turn. I can make the corner. Oh, you have something to make a corner? You really have been paying attention. And let's see if she has it right, guys. What do you think? She has four plus six, which is okay. 10, and nine plus one, which is okay. 10. And so what is her score? 20. 20, wow, she got a lot for that corner. So while you're waiting your turn, you always wanna be looking to see if you can fill in those corners. All right, and Caleb, it's your turn, and you're gonna have to play off that last card she played, okay? Unless you could fill in this corner. If you need help remembering which is the last card played, you can put a small object, like a coin or a ring on it to help you keep track. Also, if nobody has a card that they can play, each player may temporarily take a fifth card from the stockpile so play can continue. To shorten the game for beginners, the winner is the first player who has 100 points. A full game of four players will have a cumulative score high into the hundreds or 200s. This game has been a family favorite for many and I trust you'll play it for many years to come.